All right, so this is a video about wire O and coil binding, uh, designing and facing pages, but also getting the bleed you need. So what's the problem? The problem is facing pages in InDesign are very normal. It looks like this, it's all part of the program, and it works for a lot of things. It works for books that you staple, it works for books that you perfect bound, bind, but this kind of layout actually could cause problems if you're trying to do a wire O or coil bind. Why is it a problem there? Well, if you look at this document, this is an export, and you'll see on this page, um, we're getting this green from this side of the spread, and on this side, we're getting the white because that's what's here. So basically, the InDesign's creating bleed that's really not helpful, and it doesn't matter for most things that we do, but it does matter for coil because if we cut it, you could see this thin white line instead of it looking beautiful. You'll get a thin white line on this edge. On this side, you might even get a thin green line, right? So you really don't want that. Um, for a screw post binding, it's the same thing, right? You don't want any of this stuff showing up. We have a video of an example of, of what that looks like. Okay, so this is the problem. How do you solve it? The only way to solve it is it's pretty manual. So this guide, we, we have it here. If you go to help.notstopprinting.com and access this link, you will see how to do it. Um, it looks more intimidating than, it, intimidating than it is, um, um, but the whole idea is you have to start from the beginning and you have to unshuffle pages and um, uh, you have to use the page layout tool and click these and basically adjust the X so that it spreads out. Okay, And you have to do it from scratch. So it looks like this. Okay, so this is what it'll look like when it's blank, and I just place those same elements here, and you'll see in a minute why it works really well. So the question is, why can't you do it here, right? Um, here's why. If you try to do the same thing, you know, you un unselect this, you click on this, it's grayed out. Same thing here, super annoying. Why is it grayed out? I don't know. It's probably something to do with the programming. Basically, you can't do it on a pre-existing file. You have to start from scratch. So all you have to do is take our template, um, in this case, um, and paste the assets there. And if you don't have a template, um, then you could uh, look at this guide and see how to do it from scratch. And it takes about five minutes. Um, but yeah, it'll look like something this, like this when it's blank. And then you could just paste your elements from here to here. Uh, in this case, I don't want to do it because we really are extremely paranoid about messing up customers' files, links, and all that. For example, I have missing links um, here, and uh, I have some missing fonts. So, um, yeah, this is something that definitely the graphic designer wants to do. So, I pasted a couple things in here, and uh, yeah, I created the bleed now that I wanted. Um, and you'll notice when you transfer elements over, it won't... Uh, work completely correctly like here right so all you have to do is position it and kind of just make sure your margins and stuff make sense like so for example this one needs to be bumped so it'd be something like that right and you just do that for every page again luckily this is just 16 pages so it won't take too long um, but this is something you definitely want to do very in the beginning when you're doing wire o screw post binding things like that um, you'll see here now that um, when I export it, it's going to look a lot better. And here you can do crop marks if you want. Yep, all that stuff is good. We're going to export that. You can have missing fonts, but this is just for a quick tutorial. So instead of it looking like this, let's see what it looks like now. Uh, when I go into my downloads folder. So now, instead of it looking like this, perfect here. Pretty cool, right? Um, and that's how you do it. You, of course, could design in just single pages, but obviously most people like to design in facing pages because it helps you visualize and design better, right, when you can see it side by side. But it's a little bit unique for this purpose. Hopefully that helps. And uh, yeah, you can design in facing pages for Wire o.